Hi everyone, welcome in my channel. In this video we'll see a review of MX Linux with KDE desktop environment. This Linux distribution is very interesting if you like a Debian based Linux distribution without systemd. So this kind of Linux is Uh, suited for uh, uh, computers with uh, a little of RAM in particular, but uh, I think it's a very interesting uh, Linux distribution, so let's do this. Okay, uh, this is the uh, official announcement, so MX Linux 19.2 with KDE. And uh, this is uh, a quite uh, interesting uh, release because uh, usually I didn't consider much uh, MX Linux because uh, it wasn't uh, so full featured like uh, the other ones and it also wasn't uh, so light uh, to, to run because I prefer um, in the past Antics which uh, shares uh, a lot of tools uh, with uh, this uh, uh, MX Linux uh, distribution, but uh, it's lighter. Uh, this uh, distribution is uh, interesting uh, between, uh, uh, because uh, you have uh, a Debian-based uh, Linux distribution with the Plasma uh, 5.14 and also other uh, MX-specific uh, tools. And uh, you use this uh, Linux distribution without systemd, but uh, systemd is also present in the release. And uh, as you can read, if you use uh, uh, without systemd, there are uh, some problems because you can't use the normal GUI of KDE uh, to set up the, the time, the date. Uh, so you need to use the MA, uh, MA, MX date uh, tool to, to fix the uh, time uh, of the system. Um, yeah, this uh, is the release announcement. And uh, as you can see on uh, DistroWatch, uh, this Linux uh, distribution is uh, at the first place. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, deserved because uh, it's uh, a good trade-off between uh, um, efficiency and uh, features. So let's see this uh, Linux distribution in the um, GNOME boxes, but I've also tested this Linux distro uh, inside a real computer. So this is uh, MX Linux KDE. Uh, you can pick uh, systemd or without systemd when uh, you uh, run the distro in a real uh, installed uh, computer and uh, this is uh, the boot and uh, if you are lucky we can now see the uh, login code name patito feo This uh, Linux distro is based on Debian 10, uh, Debian Buster, but uh, I've also tried to use uh, this Linux distro with uh, Debian testing, uh, which has uh, KDE uh, 5.17 instead of uh, KDE uh, 5.14. I suggest to do these changes only if you know uh, where to put your hands in your system. Here we are. This is the welcome screen of uh, MX uh, Linux, uh, but uh, I close this. And uh, yeah, we have uh, a, a KDE uh, desktop with uh, Conkey to see the uh, consumption of the resources. And we also have uh, this uh, widget here to monitor the uh, consumption of the resources. So the uh, most uh, interesting thing in this distro are the MX uh, tools. Now it's a little bit uh, laggy inside the VM, but uh, when you run uh, on your system, uh, it's uh, a very fluid uh, basic menu. So here we have the uh, specific tools uh, to mount the iDevices, to uh, change the grub configuration for the bootloader, boot repair, cleanup, to install the codecs, 
MX con key is to monitor the uh, resources. MX date and time is to uh, change uh, the date or time if you need it. And uh, assistant for the network package installer. This is uh, interesting because uh, here is root the password because uh, you can also install uh, a software for from uh, Flatpak. So not just Debian uh, software from the stable repo and also from MAX repo, but also from uh, Flatpak. So uh, you have uh, the access to much more software uh, from the fl Flatpak uh, uh, repository. And uh, this takes uh, a little bit of time because uh, it needs to load uh, the registry. And uh, this is uh, a good uh, alternative to install a software which is uh, uh, newer because uh, sometimes the uh, Debian testing or Debian stable doesn't have uh, a very much updated uh, software. So here we are. This uh, is the list from Flatpaks and for instance KD KDN Live, this is the version available in Flatpak. Let's see also another very interesting tool, which is uh, this one, it's MX Snapshot. Here you can create your live CD with your installed MX Linux system. And this is useful if you want to run uh, a backup, a live CD backup, or uh, you want to create a remastered version of MX Linux with additional software. So you, you can use this for this kind of use cases and you have the uh, bootable ISO in this path, so home snapshot. And then, uh, as I said before, I tried uh, to update uh, this MX Linux to uh, Debian testing repositories. I just had uh, a little bit uh, uh, of uh, issues with the package manager because I had to install a um, GCC uh, package manually to, to fix uh, this kind of uh, installation problem but uh, it went fine and um, the updated uh, Debian uh, release also works fine on top on uh, MX Linux. So uh, I did some tests, the uh, system just booted, use 42 megs. If you update it to Debian testing, it uses uh, 479 megs. And if you run it with systemd, it use more or less 100 megs more, so 558. I think this is a good Linux distribution if you are looking for a trade-off between features and RAM consumption. And this is the video I recommend for you. And this is the video that YouTube recommend to you. What do you think about this Linux distro? Leave me a comment below. Bye!